So, um, Thor, so what is your, what do you think guys need as far as to have in, you know, the right mindset that they need to have to, you know, approach a woman, you know, or being on a date or if they want to, you know, flirt with a girl sexually, like what, what, where do we go from here? That's a really good question. Uh, what type of mindset do they need? Well, the mindset you need, obviously you're hitting onto it, is confidence. I mean, how many times have you heard, essentially, from the women, just be confident? Oh, did you see that guy's confidence? Look, he's walking with confidence, right? I mean, you hear that all the time. So what does confidence actually mean in that context? Uh, well, in some sense, when it comes to dating and sexuality, it means that you need to con her out of her defenses. That's confidence. You have to be that man that strikes that chord with her that she just automatically knows you are in control. Mm -hmm. I like to call that myself. I call that. Uh, it's been called a lot of things. You know, in law enforcement circles, it's called command presence. And you all know this. You've been That's around a, an alpha guy that is in charge. Not so much he's an asshole or douche. But guy, he's just in charge, man. He's in charge of himself. He Rule zero is self-care. The guy dresses right. Beard lines are perfect. He's wearing the right stuff. He has a style about him, and he does not shy away from it. He owns it mm -hmm. through and through. And when that's done, that is quite a uh, subcommunication that you're putting out there. I call it dominant masculine presence. Mm -hmm. I actually have a list that I've been working on for my new course on how to, 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 to help guys acquire this, this uh, dominant masculine um, presence. There are certain traits that you can exercise, uh, body language, communication styles, um, just very simple things that you can put together in small bits and pieces. If you've never done this out of the list of 20 that I have, uh, you're not going to want to do them all at once because we've all seen the guy that shows up eyes wide like this. And he's just, yeah, yeah. Barking orders. Cause he thinks he's being, you know, dominant presence. Well, he's just a douchebag. That is not what this is about. It's about subtlety and timing and knowing your audience. And if you want, I can get right into that. These traits are not necessarily natural. I mean, I think when I start to talk about these, you'll understand these traits can be passed from father to son. A lot of these are social acumen. So if you're slightly on the social awkward side, you're going to, it's going to require a little bit of training. You're going to need to look in the mirror. I mean, let's be serious here. You want to have sex appeal and you want to be able to express yourself and command your confidence in front of women and men. You're going to need to be able to pick up on cues that you hear and you see and respond, not just with your body, but with your face. You're going to need to be able to sit there crack a little bit of a smile at the right time, right? Exactly. I mean, this is subtle shit. You know, yeah. you don't want your eyes to do something like this, but you do want to be able to fix your gaze. 